KX Sports with Ryan Black. Welcome back to KX News. Another week full of high school hoops here in North Dakota with state tournament championships and appearances on the line. We had game winners and some of the best highlight plays from this sports season. With that being said, let's take a look at this week's top plays. Starting with the Division AA Boys State Semifinal Sport Play 5. Fargo North leading Minot. Matthew Sem finding his brother Jeremiah. Perfect pass on the backdoor cut and Sem throws it down with authority. Spartans take down the top seed and advance this championship. You'll see more Jeremiah Sem later. Let's go over to play four. Sticking with the AA Boys Semifinals. Fargo Davies, Alpha Kamara pokes the ball free, forces the turnover. Mason Claybo goes on the run, getting to the rim, lobbing it back to Kamara for the slam. The Eagles with a highlight play of their own in a tight battle against West Fargo Cheyenne. Moving to the Division B Region 3 tournament for play three. One wing down by two, four seconds left. Dante Fetzer weaves through the defense, bobbles the ball, gets to Hudson Wolf in the corner. The freshman fires, draining the game winner at the buzzer. They keep the minor season alive. Wilton trailed by 13 at half, and Wolf completes the comeback, beating the buzzer. Number two from the Division A state qualifiers, Kildare and Stanley tied with seconds left. Last chance for the Cowboys, but the layup won't go. Jackson Reese is there, scoring the buzzer, beating putback for the win, party like it's 1953. The Cowboys are dancing to the state tournament for the first time in 71 years. Reese with the game winner. And our top player of the week, courtesy of Jeremiah Sem, AA State Championship, second half, Sem with the ball, he'll drive to the rim. And look out below, Sem takes off with the poster over 6'10", Tommy Oneman. Look at that again, Jeremiah Sem, how do you do? Throwing it over the big man. Wow, that's my vote for our top play of the winter season. Sem making it look way too easy for our top play of the week. The West Fargo Cheyenne Mustangs outlasted the Fargo North Spartans for the inaugural Division AA state title Saturday night, a full circle moment for one of their own. It was the Mustangs with an incredible 25-3 run to close the game that gave them the 78-62 win at the Bismarck Event Center. For head coach Tim Brandt, his team winning a state title the same night, his brother Jeff was honored as a member of the 1999 Minot State Championship team. Tim recalling a personal story as he reflects after giving Cheyenne their first ever state championship. It was awesome to have him here, and, and I, a little personal story about myself, when they won their state championship in 99, I had appendix surgery like two days before that, so I couldn't even be at that, at that state title game. I had to watch it on TV. Um, so for this to sort of come full circle, and um, him, him to be here and not, and not going on, it's, it's really special. Sunday, who's Big Ten Women's Championship, Nebraska facing Iowa, fourth quarter. Cornhuskers leading by one, working the inside out game to Century Grad, Logan Nisley, who sinks the three from the corner. Nebraska leads by four. This game would go to overtime and just over a minute left in OT. It's Nisley again, draining the triple, giving the Cornhuskers a one-point lead. She had 13 points in this one, but the Hawkeyes respond, and it's the star. Caitlin Clark, step back three, bang! Iowa takes the lead with under a minute left as the Hawkeyes win their second straight Big Ten title winning 94 to 89. UND woman battling Oral Roberts in the Summit League quarterfinals. Final seconds of the first half, Jayla Owen drives and gets the runner to go before the buzzer, cutting the deficit to nine at the break. Let's go to the third quarter, Fighting Hawks down by 11. Casey Borowitz, she'll drain the triple here, cutting the deficit back down to single digits. But the Golden Eagles would take over in this one. Hannah Cooper drives to the basket, count the hoop and the Harmon old fashioned three point play to extend the lead as Oral Roberts moves on to the semis with a big win over UND, 91 to 68, the final. In the men's Summit League quarterfinals, UND battling Omaha. Final seconds of the half here, Tyree Iannaccio drives, and his fadeaway floater is good to go at the buzzer. Four point lead for the Fighting Hogs at half. Second half, UND in transition, pass to Bismarck High alum, Tracing Eaglestaff who buries the trifecta, extending the lead later in the half. Two point game, Fighting Hawks swinging it over to Eli King in the corner. And he drains the triple, lead back up to five. This game's still going on in the second half, UND leading by six. Let's go to NDSU taking on St. Thomas in their quarterfinals matchup. Early first half, loose ball collected by Bowden Skunberg. Has to throw up a shot from way downtown and connects as the shot clock expires. Early second half, Bison trailing by 14. Skunberg driving baseline, finds Shikari White in the corner, and he catches the three, capping off a 9-0 run to open the half. Let's go to the second half. Tommy's with a big lead. Ben now, he'll swing it over to Brooks Allen, who fires from deep, and that's nothing but net as St. Thomas moves on to the semifinals with a 10-point win over NDSU. Wow, it sounds a lot like March Madness right now, that's for sure. Some of the best time of the year. Then right after baseball is coming into play, my favorite sport, I cannot Ooh. ask for more. So we need to start up a little league then is what you're saying. KX Baseball? I'm in. All 100%. right, let's go. I'm right. Thank you so much, Ryan. Stay tuned. Coming up next, we're...